book is showing up in mailboxes across Philadelphia, and most residents are finding it, well, pretty mysterious. The book is called The Great Controversy. This is a marvelous book. Sent to me all the time. People right. send me books. That book is sent to me more than any other book. I, I, I bet I have, I bet I have received in the last five years 500 copies of that book. Easy. None of us trust media anymore. Glenn Beck is a political commentator. He is the CEO of the media, The Blaze, which is one of the largest platforms on YouTube right now and many other podcasters as well. They are doing exceptionally well, I'll tell you that. Trust in the media has plummeted to an all-time low. Every night when we flip the news on, we know they're feeding us things that are absolutely not true. But I'll tell you something that's also amazing. Glenn Beck came in touch with The Great Controversy. Oh yeah, he did. The book, The Great Controversy, has made his way to Glenn Beck and the people on the media here in this video they were promoting the book in a very positive way. I was like, whoa, 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 whoa. I'm gonna share a few clips with you here. Listen, sit tight. This is gonna get really, really interesting. Let's watch this clip and then I'm gonna share something else with you. And I'm gonna tell you how you can get yourself a free copy of this book as well. Let's take a listen. This is The Great Controversy by E.G. White. It is about the battle between good and evil. We are seeing that play out more and more in the world around us every day. Recently, I met with Dwight Hall, the CEO of Remnant Publications. He's made this book available for a price you won't believe, but I'll tell you more about that in just a moment. This book, next to the Bible, to me, is probably the greatest book I've ever read. Mm -hmm. You know why? Because it tells about the past and the present and the future. Mm -hmm. It starts out with the destruction of Jerusalem. Why did the Jews have to be destroyed by a heathen nation? And then it goes into the reformer's life. Why did people like Martin Luther um, have to run and, and hide. And other reformers were burned at the stake. Why was that? It's all because when we turn away from God, from His true principles of the Bible, we all get ourselves in trouble. And I believe this nation today is in great trouble. We need to get back to biblical principles that are practical in our everyday lives. This great controversy will change people's lives. Even the great Paul Harvey, when he was alive, told me personally this is one of the greatest books that he had ever read. It's an amazing book. And you know, Glenn was just telling me this is the one that people sent to him more than anything. I, I and get books, I get books sent to me all the time. People right. send me books. That book is sent to me more than any other book. I, I, I bet I have, I bet I have received in the last five years 500 copies of that book. Easy. You can get your copy now with free shipping, $2.99. Go to remnantpublications.com, remnantpublications.com, promo code The Blaze for free shipping. Get your copy now, just $2.99. This is the great. I'll tell you what. Um, this is powerful stuff going on here. Over 500 copies were sent to him. Well, there are a number of reasons for that. <laughs> because the conservatives party, right, they're trying to fight against left-wing ideology. But, 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 they do not un understand the great controversy and the players that are behind the scene. And oftentimes they think of the fascist and the communist, right? Which is true because there's an ideology that supports that. But when you study who is really pulling the string behind the scene, you end up at the feet of the Antichrist power. And what they don't realize also, they are working with the Antichrist, but the Antichrist is the same power that is creating majority of the problems that they're fighting up against. So if you don't have a knowledge of the great controversy, they are going to be misled. So this is why this book is very important because what it does, it gives you the history it also shows you how things are going to go, and he exposes, he strips naked the men of sin. So when the man of sin is on the scene, acting as if it is a friend of the people, but in reality, he is also the one working behind the scenes through his supposed sympathizers, using the same issues of our society to promote his own value while tearing apart the Constitution, you need a great controversy for that <laughs> because the, the great controversy just shows you this is really what's going on, bro. Don't fall for it. So this is the thing. And listen, we had a project. And again, I'm going to speak about this. Elder Ted Wilson have something to say as well. We went to this one here. Actually, my wife and I were highly involved in this. Not only we, some of us sent this book in Philadelphia when uh, the man of sin came to pay a visit. We sent the book all over the place. And, and in other churches, I've done the same. But not only that, we went face to face 
to begin to speak to people about what was also going on with the book, with the men of sin, and what his ideologies was all about. It was powerful stuff. So take a listen to this news uh, clip right here because it tells you everything you need to know as well. This book is showing up in mailboxes across Philadelphia, and most residents are finding it, well, pretty mysterious. The book is called The Great Controversy. And most people who've gotten it say that they have no idea why it was sent to them. Fox 29's Seanette Wilson live in Center City. Seanette, you've got some answers. We did, Joyce. It took some phone calls and some emails, but we did get some answers. The publisher tells me about 700 copies were sent out around Philadelphia. It caught many we talked to by surprise who want to know who sent out this book and why. I thought it was kind of odd, actually, to get a book in your mail. But... George Jackals is one of many people on his block in South Philly who received this book by surprise in the mail. Most of the guys I know threw it in the trash, you know. <laughs> but, uh, no, I figured I'd give it a shot. It's called The Great Controversy. It's got a lot to a lot of Bible uh, quotations and captions in it. It landed in mailboxes all around the city with subtitles like Past, Present, Future and How Will It End, written on the cover beneath the title. I don't know where it came from. We made some phone calls to find out about the mystery book. It was sent by Remnant Publications, a non-for-profit Christian ministry. The CEO tells me they paid the U.S. Postal Service to send out mass numbers of the book. The CEO says, just like any mass mailing, including junk mail. The company says the original book was written in the 1850s by a woman named Ellen White, who died in 1915. Several versions of the book have come out since then. I got it uh, days, what's it, Monday? I got it Thursday. Anthony Cook says he plans on reading it, even though he's unclear what it's about. There's always something that we need to know, you know what I mean? So uh, it's a positive thing. Anything with knowledge, wisdom, can definitely work with that. Simone Gladden Gonzalez is unfazed. No, I don't think it's strange, but sometimes, you know, I, it seems like to me that since everyone's getting it, they want to get a message across. Now I might read it because, <laughs> because you know, now I see that everyone's getting it. I want to see what it's talking about. Well, it looks like this uh, mass mailing works. So the publisher tells me that the cost of the book and sending it out is covered solely by donations. I also asked the CEO of that company whether the timing of the book has anything to do with the papal visit coming up. He said there is a connection, but claims it isn't solely the reason. Ian? Oh, I, okay. <laughs> yeah. The papal visit coming up. <laughs> is that, well, all right, a lot more could be said about that anyway. Listen, listen, man, if you haven't gotten yourself a copy, you need to. I know there's some people that I'm supposed to send some copies to. Um, I don't have a lot. <laughs> I have just a few. Uh, but I plan on making uh, some serious purchases and even start giving away some of those for free. But uh, so those of you who that uh, owe a copy to, just be patient with me. You know, it's a little cost. It costs a little something on my end to send that to you, especially those of you that are overseas. So, um yeah, so if you don't have a copy, make sure you get one. Hurry up before it is too late. This is a book that I think somewhere in Canada they were trying to shut it down. They didn't want that book to come out. And I did do a video also that, uh, who was it? The people, WEF, the World Economic Forum. They didn't want that book to be spread while they were having their, you know, their supposed, you know, when they meet every year and trying to do their, trying to clean up the house and trying to fix the world and so on. So we had some seven day Adventists there spreading the great controversy, which uh, some of them didn't like very much. We're not allowed to. So did you guys travel here as Christians to the WEF yeah. to try? To share with people, to share. To get to have opportunity, because it's also, we believe prophecy, it speaks about what's going to be happening soon and that liberty of conscience is threatened. And so we want to share with people that People can believe what they want to believe, but they should have the ability to believe what they want to believe and to choose to believe something else and to... Information is being more and more restricted. It's not new, no. It's, it's always go further and further. This is the past. This is right now. This is the future, you know. This is right here. So this is for free. This is important material. This is not uh, anything which comes on the commercial every day, you know. This is behind the curtain. But nevertheless, we do, we do, do a video about that, so we're going to come back. Uh, Elder Ted Wilson here is talking about um, the project. It's called is the project, uh, the Great Controversy Project 23 and 24. And I think this is still going on right now because I looked at the website. It is still happening. So there's a way you might be able to get a free copy by going to this website. And you can fill out uh, the paper and ask 
You can make a request on this website to get a free copy. You can also purchase this as well, but there's a way to get a free copy. You can download the book, so which is also really good as well. And by the way, Elder Ted Wilson is going through a series right now on a great controversy. Uh, let me see, I don't have that pulled up. Anyway, he's going through a whole series right now on a great controversy. He's good to check it out as well. So um, it's worth watching. Yeah, that whole series is, is addressing the great controversy. So it's good to take a listen to that. So uh, let's take a listen to this project, um, the controversy project that he's talking about here. There's very interesting stuff going on here. Let me read you something from the great controversy. This is a marvelous book. I believe every word in this book. I support it and I promote it. The full and complete book. In fact, we're planning two years of massive distribution of millions upon millions of the full, large, great controversy in the years 2023 and 2024. Now, that doesn't prevent you in any way from distributing this book right now. Do it. It's already been voted by our General Conference Executive Committee, and it's called the Great Controversy Project 2.0. That's because a few years ago we had great distribution of the Great Controversy, but I want to tell you, this is going to be massive. In fact, we're even talking about... Dis the Great Controversy, not the Great Hope, right? Are we correct? All right, all right, all right. There's a difference now. There's a huge difference. And again, I'm not going to berate the man. We don't want no Great Hope. Great Hope is okay. You, you can spread it around the community and so on, but if you want the real meat, Give the people the full book, man. All right? So I'm glad you decided to do that. I appreciate this. You know, movements like this, I'll support. Uh, we, great hope. Uh, no, we ain't doing that. Be <clears throat> massive. In fact, we're even talking about distributing up to one billion copies of this book. Let's go. Let's go. Praise be to God. Amen. Now, I want to urge you to strongly support and participate in this program. Ellen White herself said this book, The Great Controversy, was the book she wished circulated more than any other book she had written because it has such great truth beginning with the early Christian church to the end of time. And I want to thank God for ASI members and others who are participating in their own way in distributing this incredible book. Project Restore, Ron and Pat Goss, doing their part. Another organization, wonderful group of people, Streams of Light, with Oleg Lotka and a good friend of mine, Doug Sales. He and I worked together at the Review and Herald years ago. They are hoping, streams of light, to distribute the great controversy into every home in America. Support the entire program of a worldwide venture to distribute this book so that people will know the full truth. Yeah, I mean, I think that project is still going on, according to the website. So that's one of the ways you can spread the word. And that's also a good way to do it. We do it personally as well. Sometimes we purchase things and we make our own expense and we spread it around the community. I think there are different ways you can do that. Whichever way works for you. All that I know is we need to get the word out. <laughs> this much I know. And the world needs to know. King, king of the South and king of the North are fighting, man. They're fighting. But we know the king of the north is going to push back against the king of the south. And the deadly wound is about to be healed. And my dear friends, and all the world is going to wander after the beast. And the mark of the beast will be enforced. You need the great controversy. It's more than just the prophetic side of the thing that I love. is the fact that Jesus is lifted up. Because at the end of the story, Christ wins. It's more than just a book about Bible prophecy. We are told that the revelation is the revelation of Jesus Christ, which God gave unto him to show unto his servants things which must certainly come to pass. Okay, so this is the revelation of Jesus ultimately. And that's what I love the most about the book. Listen, I've read it at least four times and I'm about to read it again. 
<laughs> I can't get enough. Actually, I get I get new copies. Uh, uh, um, after I'm done reading it, I ended up getting a new copy. Let me, let me share it. Let's go over here. So yeah, read this version. Now I got that version from Amazing Facts, which is just as good. And that version here got read. This one here is really, really is. This is this is the one that I plan on sending to someone. Um, but he has all the images and everything that you need in there. There is another version that I have. Yeah, it's not up here. Yeah, it's back there in my, my library. But it's like, whichever version you have, man, read it. But I'll tell you, you want to get something like this. The full copy with the correct pages if you really want to go in. So when you're quoting, you're quoting accordingly. Oh, you can get this one from Amazing Facts. I think they were giving these away, like, not even that expensive at all. They were like 15 something dollars. I was like, oh, gosh, I have like a couple of those. So, yeah, so I would encourage you if you haven't read that, read it. And also, don't forget the Bible, my dear friends. <laughs> don't forget the Bible. And actually, a lot of what you're going to read from the Great Controversy is on the Bible. You will be able to explain most of the issues taking place in our society better than a person with a PhD. Do you understand me? <laughs> you read the great controversy. You can break down Bible prophecy. You can expose them enough sin. You can address most of these issues, false doctrine, false teachings, misconception from the enemy. Listen, you can get through it all by just having a correct understanding of the word of God, the book, the great controversy. You can put Bible prophecy. <laughs> you can explain it in the best way that the average person ever could. That's the power that is in this. Anyway, friends, much more could be said. This is a beautiful, beautiful thing. We have a work to do. We have a message to proclaim. My goal is to get a couple cases. <laughs> get a couple cases, spread it around my neighborhood, right? Tarry in Jerusalem, right? Spread it around my neighborhood and go to Samaria, okay? To do, to do, do, do Judea, into other most parts of the earth. I can't even speak today. Anyway, thank you so much for listening. Share your thought and perspective with me. Like and subscribe to the page. Click the bell icon for more. If you enjoyed this video, let's have the conversation below. Until next time, have a good one. Bye.